Well, so this one I got called out to check a boiler before the start of the house. Uh, so good job I did, because we have found some raw issues. I don't know installed this, but yeah, the safe marks outside and tied the uh, horse up to the fence post. Let me show you why. So first of all, filters leaking. That's fine. They just need a new seal. They are the best filters then, but needs a new top seal in that because you can see it's been leaking. Um, inside there as well, when we checked it, auto air vents leaking, we're going to that. This is the main culprit though. Welcome back. We are putting right other people's mistakes yet again. To be honest with that, I don't think you can call this one a mistake. It's just a poor install. So our customers found us up selling the house. So they want a homeowner safe certificate. But check out the install. We couldn't sign this one off. So we've had to put that one right. A few other remedials on there as well, just to get it in order to ready to sell the house. And we've gone back into the archives, found one from the winter to put in there to make it into a job in episode. Got an unvented in there to sort out. So I'm just going to thank you again for your support. Honestly, I really, really appreciate all your support. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit that button. We are nearly at 10k now. I'm getting excited for that giveaway. So yeah, let's take a look at this week's job in episode. Look at that. Put my torch on so you can see better. Yeah, the condensate just goes out there. You can see it's putting strain on the, the connection here. It's supposed to go through that hole there. We'll come down here. So we ain't gonna be able to do that because that pipe's in the way. But let me show you where it goes outside. But yeah, if we come round here, there it is. Poking this little lid out. Right onto the gas pipe. Not the safest in the world because that, that water will actually corrode that gas pipe. You see, it's already corroding the driveway. So we've got to get put this right. So what I'm thinking is, bring the pipe down here, across here, and into there. I'm gonna put a, a boss onto here. Yeah, bit of bit of pipe across here, then back into the boiler. Then get that hole sealed up. Uh, sort that leak out, do the auto air vent, then we can issue a, a safe certificate, say that it's all been done properly. So at the moment, my name is going to that boiler to say it's all safe for the new owners to come in. Obviously, for new owners, had they checked on themselves, but a different gas engineer is going to say, well, leak on the filter. There's a leak on the auto air vent, the condensate aid on right. They get the paperwork out, guess his name's on it. Mine. So, yeah, we've got to put this right before the ASL gets through. So, let's get straight into it. Right, first thing we'll do is pile a hole straight down into there. So, we'll go and miss that part where that's one coming away a little bit. So, a hole straight through there. Then we get a boss clamp onto there and come across for the boiler. It's normally a part where that bit will fall straight through into the people. <laughs> it will be going to fall through. Happy days. So we just put some solver help around there. That's in. Clamped on underneath. Always very close to that seal. I think the seal was there. Very close. Um, so we're going to do a piece of wood off there. Bring it across and bring it back to the wall here. Um, and yeah, run it that way. Everything's just going to be in the way here, ain't it? Might bring it higher, but then that gas pipe's in the way. Can I bring it in between them two? It's no easy way. No easy way on this one. So I decided to bring it in between the pipes there, so it's on a full. So what I'm thinking there is chop that down somewhere there and bring it in 22 mil. Well, 21.5. Or do I step over it there, keep it 40 then up, because it'll be... Mm. Don't know. Because the condensate's over there. I've got to get over these pipes. Taking them up now, but it'll be the way I'll do it. But it's going to be. <laughs> I have now clips from there to there. Yeah. I found I've to put a bit of pipe off the border there, bring it down, back to the wall, then out again, and back it down. Oh, for God's sake, this is just a nightmare. Hmm. We have to think on this one. All right, so we just come straight to condensate connection there at the back. Three spacer clips. My God, big long screw, and now it's down. Now we need to get around this pipe here. So now I've got an idea. Let me know if you know we this need one. To get the bends. Yes, the pipe benders. You know you can bend the condensate pipe. I'll show you. So yeah, all you got to do, put it in your bender and just put a bit more in it, I'll bang on that actually. 
I've got the excess off. I just need to manipulate it. Just slowly bend it. And eventually, you'll get a bend on it. Just like that. And put it in the other side. And we'll have, a, we'll have an offset. There we go. Got our offset now. There we go, there's our offset. I'll put it up. Beautiful. Look at that. So that'll help into there. And I'll probably do something there. Happy days. There you go. So we finished on that. Straight down off the border. Straight into there. Straight into the reducer. Straight into the soil pipe. Happy days. We're going to test that now. Uh, it's going to give you 10 minutes of well to go off. We can actually drain the boiler through the condents on this model. So we're going to do that. The only regret is I should have extended that to there. <sighs> yeah. But it's fine. It's, it's, it's condensate. It's in. It's better than what it was. Mm, I just feel like I could have done that a bit better. But it is what it is. It's in. Um... I've got a feeling when the new one's coming, they'll box all that in anyway. So, condensate's in, that's all done. Let's move on to changing sales and that and doing the auto air vent. So, I've got the case off on this Worcester and I said, yeah, there's the built in fin loop, uh, sorry, built in drain off that connects onto your condensate. So, what you can do is open that and that'll test my condensate as well. Make sure I've got no leaks in it and it'll drain the boiler. And there's nothing. On them, so tight. There we go, that's open. Beautiful. Now, leaks around the back, that's good. So, yeah, just going to dump pressure off and do the auto air vent, which you can see just at the back. Run a bit crusty. So, yeah, we're going to get that out. All right, so the pressure off the boiler. Let me see, because can you see the design of where they put that POV? Gas pipe. Right above it, this pipe coming this way, that right next to it. I've seen Chiggs do one, uh, CP utilities, and he said it was a nightmare to get out. I can see why now. Look at that. Oh, look at that here. Right, so what I'm gonna do is get my grips, twist it, and then try and get it out. Yeah, things took a turn. I've had to take the condensate trap out because I just couldn't get to it. I thought I'd take that out, but I couldn't get to it down because this connection was in the way. So I've had to take the cars and let it supply out. That give me enough room to lower it down so I can get a pair of grips in there to actually get a turn on it with a pair of grips. It's still pretty tight. I've got my grips in again just to loosen it, but ah, it is an absolute joke, Worcester. That's a joke, man. I think the strange thing is a lot of people have said they can get this clip in, which went onto here. So you can see there that pipe's moving out the way, which made the auto air vent impossible to get out. Anyway, it's out now, let's get a new one in. Uh, get that put back together. Well, it's 15 minutes later and I've just got it in. That is an absolute peak to do now, that auto air vent. Yeah, new ones are all in. But yeah, look at it. <sighs> I don't know what to think of that wash that. My God, that is just horrendous to do now, it really is. I'm not even exaggerating. I had a right game getting that in, but it's all in now. Cold water's back together. Um, yeah, not for that. I thought that'd be quick, like five minute job. I uh, shall say, I've, I've, I've said a few, for swear words, and I have to have two minutes in the van to calm down because it drove me insane. I did that, drove me insane. So be aware, just come across now, it's auto air and all that. It ain't easy. I don't know whether next time I'll do it, I'll find it easier. I won't miss about it. I'll just probably take the uh, cold water in let out again because it was easy to get onto then. So. Oh yeah, it's all experience, so let's move on to getting sealed out of this now. Nice and simple, I've turned that valve off, hopefully it don't leak. Uh, that's a feed to the radiators and that one's feed to the boiler, which is already drained. We have to drain it off to do the auto air vent. So what we do now is what the crappy plastic handle. That should fit onto there. That should fit onto there. That barely fits onto there. That is, that is crap. Get that right and just throw it. Absolutely useless. You ain't turning nothing with that. I'll get my old filter wrench on it. So that is a good year old filter wrench. It fits perfect onto these now. I have loose that. It wasn't that easy to do. Yeah, them were god send them on. Absolutely love them so get this out. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. I might need two hands to stick my tongue out for this one. Oh, oh, buddy. I 
course it's never been bloody cleaned. Well, it probably has, probably just on the filter system, but that's it now. We'll place the o ring in there, give that a clean. So this is the Flowmaster seal pack. You can't actually get this from Screwfix. Even though it's a Screwfix product, you have to, they don't sell this. I have to get this off eBay. If it cost me £13.50 with delivery, so you get a new handle, new big o ring, that's the one that I need. And the other o rings, the one for the dump valve and the one for the two connections. There's a bit of silicon grease and all the instructions you need, but it's pretty straightforward. Take the canister off, get this o ring on. That's the old seal out, new seal, which goes on there. And in there, there we go. Put that back on. Now we can get that back in. All right, so that's that back in now. Uh, new seal on it. I'm going to clean these marks up on here just so it don't look like it's leaking. Um, but yeah, we're going to put on the safe certificate. The seal's been done, but there is a pack of silicon grease that comes in the new seal. Pull it around the thread, then pull it on. It glides on then. Um, so if you come across these and you service them, Put some grease around the thread. It just makes it so it is stiff as what you've just seen it for me. Um, but yeah, that's all done. Let's get it topped up now. Test it for leaks. I'm just trying to fill it up. I'm not sure you know, I just left the drain off open, I own. Oh, well, that can't just have a good test now. All right, so pressure's in the boiler now. Uh, let's put the power on. Check for leaks. No leaks in the auto air vent. No leaks on the filter, which is great. Um, 26.9 checks on that. Issue new certificate, and that is good to sell. This is good to go on the market. No issues with the boiler. Send off sisters and say, Yeah, all good. The only advice I'd to give you from this job is if someone finds it when sending the house, or yes, they want to know that their boiler's fine and it ain't going to cost them any money because they're about to move. But it's your name going on the boiler. If there's any issues, you've got to know and then. Because, like I said, the next person moves in. And they find all these issues later on they don't know well who checked it before we bought it your name pops up no good is it so yeah that's all sorted now it's all installed properly no leaks no problems everything's safe good to go all right so on this one we've got a leak in tundi for that yeah some of them vented so it can be a few things but the main culprit normally is that tank so what we're gonna do is shut the water off open a hot water tank and Pump that, see if uh, I bet you that's going to be full of water. So I'll be this cap on top. Just give it a full pump. Put it on. Yes. Put it in there, you can pump it up. Hold on. Let's see if that's on right. Aye, good. No, it's not pumping up whatsoever. Set the valve and check it but I think it's going to be a new expansion on this one. So yeah, it's going to be a new expansion. I did try and foot pump it. No good. No good. Tried a new valve. No good. <sighs> Got to replace it. What I'm going to do is disconnect this flex thing at the bottom of here. Probably for all that. Yep. Um, we am going to replace this because flexes. They say flexes on expansion vessels now, but I've seen these pop off. So, yeah, let's get it on the cut off the wall anyway. Stop it dripping everywhere. <sighs> Fire heavy, them can be. Them are full of water, them am heavy. How many times have you been somewhere, like a new build or something, and plasterboard walls and the fixings now good? And you see them hanging off the wall. It's because of them, they get so heavy. So, yeah, let's uh, get that old bracket off. Let me get the new one lined up. So that vessel was held up by them two screws. I'm blessed. Oh, there's nothing behind that. How has that been holding on for dear love? Well, it has done, so yeah, let's get the new one on. Spirit level on the wall, line across, off the new vessel up, two marks. Then what we're going to use on these is ball fix fixings. I'll rave about these, they are super, super strong, so a couple of ball fix in them, it ain't going to go nowhere. Ball fix fixings, 20 mil hole, in your drill. On that side, you do have to be precise though, because obviously you just put a 20mm hole in the wall, so if you get it wrong, yeah. But yeah, I've, I've been getting on wrong great with these ball fix fixes, so let's do this other side. There we go. Let's get the fixings in. The fixings come to the collar, you just tap that on. There we go. Ain't got your fish. Now, this is an extra big fish. 
and massive ammo. So just pop them in. And you can sometimes do it with your fingers, but if you are feeling strong, pop them on. There you go. That's fixing. Same the other side. We get the new vessel on the wall. And the screws you get with it, you get everything in the kit with the ball fix fixings. And you can just screw them in there. I'm going to put some wash on, get the vessel on the wall. Yeah. That will, that will hold over 100 kilogram per fixing. So it's more than ample for this expansion vessel. There you go. That is it all on. And the fixings, absolutely solid. Now, the expansions, I do like the ones with the bracket welded to the expansion vessel. I do. I prefer them. Them a lot better. I mean, even the old and the bracket on that was quite good. I don't like the strap ones. Each to their own, but yeah. I mean, we've got a connection there with the vessel. So, what we're going to do now is get that piped up into there. Right, so, I've got the connection onto there. Uh, PTFE and bit of paste. That's a three quarter connection on there, not 22. So, you need an adapter. Before we pop into here, we am going to get this replaced. The reason for that being is it's more likely going to have blown the PRV. Now, I put it all back together. I wish I had shovel. I put it all back together, test it. If it leaks, then I've got to take it all, drain it all down, put a new one in. So, I just said to the customer, I said, I can try it or I can just replace it while I'm here. Because that's been leaking ages, he says. So the chances that that's going to be knackered at the height. So it's only going to cost the cost of the valve, which I've got on the van. So I'm just going to whip it out and get a new one in. Now you might say, well, you should just test it. It's just a waste of money. It's only costing the customer the cost of the valve, which is £55. So let's say if that's gone, then I'll go replace that. I'm not sure of the cost on them. Um, but then I'll charge labour as well because I've filled it all back up. I'll drain it down. I'll replace that. Could be the filter, take all that out, clean it again, it's chargeable because I mean, through the expansion. So, yeah, I'm just gonna get it whipped out and replaced. Prevention's better than cure. I'm too busy at the moment, so I've had it before where I pumped the expansion vessel. Let's say, for argument's sake, I pumped the expansion vessel and it was still dripping afterwards. I've got to come back out and it's gonna be the PRV. I'm gonna try this PRV, it turns out it's the block because I haven't known it where it's just been the complete block. You've got to replace it. So, prevention's better than cure. It's only gonna cost the cost of the valve. Well, I've got it all drained down, just quickly whip it out, new one in. Yeah, but I'm sure someone will disagree with me, but new block, new vessel, it's done then. So let's get this one popped up anyway. So yeah, new block in. You can either take the uh, expansion off there, or you can tee in down there. I'm not sure what to do. I don't know if to put an elbow in there, bring it that way, or just bang a tee in there. It's done then, ain't it? Might just bang a, a tee in there. Nice and simple, we're gonna cut a tee in there. Across to there, up, put some proper clips on. See, those ones are just held in by um, ball plugs, so they're my cavity wall fixing on there. Up here, across there, up into there. And that should all be piped up, and that's it. All right, battery's about to last so after this quick, so I've just teed in off there, straight across there. New clips in the wall, straight into the vessel. Got my eyes pipe on because I want to flush this pipe out as I'm filling because I don't want any debris from the flux and that to go into the cylinder and that. Give that a flush through a bit, yeah, that is. All done, so it ain't too bad a job that day. Eh? Um, these vessels, as I said, the one with the welding bracket on, I do prefer them, but yeah, that's a job all done. I'm gonna get my phone on charge for the next job.